Halloween. The one day where as a kid you can be anything you truly want to be for a day. A princess, a superhero, or a disappointment. I mean like, come on bruh, how are these even costumes? Like look, I'm not complaining or anything, but someone tell me when was the last time you seen a construction worker dressed like this? Like bro, I know you're cold in that costume bruh, go put on a jacket, it's the middle of October. No, but for real though, trust me, not every costume has to be hot. Yo, where is your costume? What do you mean, this is my costume. You're literally wearing nothing bruh. Am I gonna go to jail just for looking at- Go put some clothes on or something! What do you mean? This is my costume. It's a hot ghost. Can't you tell? But yeah, Halloween. Truly a W holiday. I mean, if you can celebrate it. Because if you're like me, growing up African probably meant that you had parents who saw Halloween as a day of the devil's worship. I mean, to an African parent, they had no problem with us celebrating a fat old white man breaking into a crib, but let you put on a cowboy costume and go around asking for candy? Yeah, you practically became Satan's right wing man to them, bruh. But to be fair, I can't even hold them. I mean, imagine coming to a new place and you hear one of the traditions in the area is once a year people go around dressed up as zombies and killer clowns with decorations like this. Speaking of decorations, some people go a little way too overboard with it, man. Like, like it'll turn October 1st and boom, a regular suburban home will go from looking like this to a crime scene where it looks like the serial killer wanted to get caught. Yo, bro, your Halloween decorations are amazing. It actually looks like a creepy abandoned home. Bro, what? This isn't decorations. What do you mean? Bro, this is my house. I'm broke. <laughs> Jessica, why did she leave me, bro? Why did she Few moments later. And she took the kids, bro. One eternity later. The fucking kids, bro! The fucking kids! Like, if we being real, Halloween is the best time to do any sort of crime. I mean, you already have people covered in fake blood holding fake weapons, dressed up like psychopaths. I mean, even a nigga like Jeffrey Dahmer would have blended in perfectly on a Halloween night. Y'all remember the whole clown debacle that happened in 2016? To this day, I swear that needs to go down in history books because the way everyone was genuinely scared to go trick or treating because of the clowns is low key insane. Like, people were really out trick or treating that day watching the back for Ronald McDonald. Me personally, if I had been trick or treating that night, I would have been out there with my bag to carry the candy, a costume, and a nine, my nigga. Cause ain't no way I'ma let a Krusty the Clown ass nigga. Uh, be the reason I get set six feet under, bruh. One other thing I remember about Halloween was people saying to like look over your candy after you collected it and everything because people might put razors or blades in them. And I'm gonna be real, you have to be one hating ass adult to be so bored that you're putting razors in candy. I mean, think about how much effort that takes. You gotta take multiple candy bars, carefully insert razor you just ordered online, and then seal it back up. Like adults were really risking a life sentence over their hatred of kids. And honestly, I gotta respect it. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy the last video I uploaded called I'm a Wingstop Munch. It's a banger. Go check it out. And as always, peace out and stay lit.